Hello, we're going to be doing a first impression video on some e.l.f. cosmetics that I purchased from Marshalls. A, um, over the couple of weeks, I have been going to Marshalls looking for discounted um, cosmetics and among the variety of brands that they carry, I was able to pick up a few things from e.l.f. cosmetics. And I have already cleaned my face, so we're starting off with a clean canvas. And uh, I'm going to go in and use a primer. And since I don't have a e.l.f. Um, cosmetic primer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Prime Face Studio Primer Base. And I'm going to... Be using my mirror to look, if you don't keep looking at the viewfinder here. I'm going to be using the mirror that I have in my hand to apply the primer. And this will be the first time I'm using this as well. So we will see how this works. So we're going to dot this over my face in areas. And this primer is supposed to blur and smooth. So use I just dot the primer on my face in areas with, and then I'll smooth it out with my fingertips. I basically, before I applied this, applied this primer, I always like to clean my face first. Um, that way it gets rid of any dry skin or any um, anything on my skin that I think should come off before I apply cosmetic because cosmetic will cling to different things on your face. And if your face is oily, you know, cosmetic will cling to that. If your face is dry, it'll cling to patches, any dry skin on your face. So you always want to start off with a clean canvas. And plus it preps your skin. So I have applied the primer to my face. Which felt very smooth, very silky on my skin. I have the other Maybelline primer that's for illuminating and I like to use that one as well. So the next thing we're going to do is use the e.l.f. tinted moisturizer with FPF 20 sunscreen in the color sand and I also bought this from Marshall. I only paid a dollar and 99 for this tinted moisturizer at the retail price of three dollars so it comes in a small tube like this so again I'm gonna go on my face in the blotting circular motion that I apply like I applied the primer I'm just gonna blot some colors all over my face And then I'm going to go in with my Eco Tools blending sponge. And the reason why I like tinted moisturizers over foundations, like I don't dislike foundations, but I tend to find some foundations to be a little bit more, more heavy on my skin. That's why if I do look for a foundation, I tend to look for a light to medium coverage. I don't think my face requires a lot of foundation because pretty much I um, like to keep my skin as natural as possible. 
So I usually like tinted moisturizer and I like BB creams the most because it keeps that natural texture on my skin. So I'm going to go in with the Eco Tools blending sponge and we're just going to blend that right into my skin. And I have moles on my face. I don't mind the natural moles showing on my face. If the tinted moisturizer tends to cover it more, that's fine. Whatever the moisturizer wants to do, I just follow in its lead. I think I'll go back and flip this sponge to the angle portion to blend in anything else that's not completely blended in well to get into these smaller areas in my face like around my nose, eyes, in that location. I just want to blot some along your neck and I actually filmed part of this tutorial yesterday and I wanted to re-record it for the simply fact that I just maybe there's just a professionalism to some extent in me and I didn't really like the quality but when I filmed it the first time I noticed that I didn't use a face primer so you couldn't really notice the tinted moisturizer on my skin but I'm noticing with this primer it shows a little bit more I guess I would say the coloration of the tinted moisturizer but with anything, you know, tinted moisturizer, foundation, they start to oxidize. But this is the first time, but not the first time I'm using it since I basically did it yesterday. But applying it with a primer, facial primer, this is the first time. So I'm just going to keep it one layer. You can always go in with minute. Uh, sorry. You can always go in with tinted moisturizer more than once if you're not completely happy with um, the way it appears on the first layer and you just want to apply a second layer. But I think for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do one layer. So some of my moles on my face are showing and that's fine doesn't have to be perfect so I just apply the tinted moisturizer and I think the next step I want to take is I have a bit of puffiness under my left eye so I'm going to go in with my Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Waterproof Concealer in Deep I don't have an e.l.f. concealer. That is something that I should pick up and try. Next time I'm either in Marshall or Target. If I can find one in Marshall, then I will get one from there. And since e.l.f. is a cosmetic brand that's inexpensive, I could just buy one out of Target. So we're just going to, I'm just going to blot a little bit under my eye in that area. A little bit over here, there's not really much puffiness, but there's a little bit of um, dark areas under my eye. And I'm simply going to use my fingers and kind of blot in that area. I'm not a professional when it comes to using concealer because to me, it still feels like foreign languages. So 
something unfamiliar I, unfamiliar because I don't use a lot of products on my face I try not to use a lot and a lot of that has to do to just protect my skin because I feel like the more I put on I'm afraid if I'm um, causing some damage to my face so less is more in my opinion for myself personally so I just applied the concealer in that area so the next step I'm going to do is start working on my eyes so for my eyes we're going to use I don't have a elf eyeshadow primer so I'm going to go in with my NYX eyeshadow base in um, ESB02 white pearl and NYX has different bases from the naked skin color to the plain white base just to pop your color and then the white pearl that would kind of give that uh, more metallic look I think for your eyes or more of a shimmer and since we're going to be using shimmery type shades I thought to just choose and use the white pearl base for my eyes you can already kind of see shimmer in my eyes and it's, it's a bit glittery you do see some glitter particles in this base but I don't think it's glitter I think it's just a shimmer particles because pearl is more of a shimmer type base so let's get that all in my eye area a little along my lower lash line So I try to do a lot of tapping motion when I apply these products on my face instead of rubbing so it doesn't pick up like acids. I don't know if there's any dry skin that may be, you know, alluring somewhere on my face. But so we're going to go in, since I don't have a MAC eyeshadow, a matte eyeshadow palette from F Cosmetic, which I... I'm aware that they have a few matte eyeshadows. I'm gonna have to go in with my MAC MAC Cosmetic Matte Eyeshadow Palette that I bought, you know, some years back. And I really like matte matte shadows. So we're gonna use this pink shade. That's right here. And that pink shade is called Girly A93. And this color is very um, subdued on my face. It's a very subdued type color. It's not very highly pigmented. So we're going to go right into my crease and buff that in into that area. And I find that I had to apply maybe two more layers just to try to get a certain color there. Because it looks really nude on me. But this is going to be a light look. It's not going to be anything bold and dram dramatic. So I want it to have a little softer look for it. And one more layer, blend into the crease. And then I'm go over to this side, blend. And 
And the brush that I'm using is a simple synthetic brush from BH Cosmetic. And I have maybe three sets of their brushes that I purchased in the past. And I like their brushes because they do last a long time. And I like the synthetic bristles that they use on their brush. So that's the blending in my crease. So again, that color is Girly from MAC Cosmetics. And the next step, we're going to go in using the e.l.f. Prism Eyeshadow in Sunset, which I bought from Marshalls for $4.99. The retail price is $8, and it comes with six different shades. And it also comes with this sponge brush that I won't be using. And I think it would be useful for e.l.f. Cosmetics as a recommendation to include a actual brush that's probably double-ended, a blending brush and a regular eyeshadow brush um, for this palette. Because there's a lot of room in this palette and they could put a regular um, brush instead of a sponge brush. Because sponge brushes, you have to dispose of those um, anyway after you're done using them. So, I think Elf Cosmetics, it would be helpful to create an actual brush to um, maximize that amount of room that's in that palette. I'm going to use one of my, two of my wet and wild eyeshadow brushes, large eyeshadow brush. And we're going to use this gold color here to place all over my um, lid area underneath the crease. And it may go inside that crease that I just put on my eyes. And since it's shimmer, you want to pat in the color. You can rub also, but more of the effect may come if you pat in the color versus rubbing in the color. And I find that this shadow wants to touch my inner corners, my lower lash line. And I think the color is very, is a nice sort of gold color on me. I can imagine if it's on women that are lighter complexion than me, fair skin, or even their darker skin, this gold would just pop. But it's not bad on my skin tone. It's really pretty. Very natural. Not like, you know, completely in your face, bold gold color. So I'm just patting that on my eyelid. Then I'm going to do the other side. And I have double eyelids, so anyone who are like me and have a double eyelid, you want to make sure you get into that crease. So when you look down, there's not like a line, because I notice sometimes if I look down, there is a line where color did not get placed into it, into that fold. So you want to just try to get into that area as much as possible to prevent that. So. so I really like this palette. It's very it's very nice and it you can wear it in the daytime, you can wear it at night as it scrubs. It's also a palette that you can use to contour, line and highlight. So you can highlight the inner corner of your eyes with it. You can line with it, you can contour. So you could do a lot of different things with this palette. And I know there's another one that they have that I also need to keep my eyes and look for and get also. So I just did my eyes with the gold on my eyelids and next I'm gonna go in and use with my other large eyeshadow brush for the corner 
crease and maybe blend up to my eyebrow bone this purple lavender shade on the corner. I don't really highlight my eyebrows. I don't even really touch my eyebrows. Um, so there's no eyebrow product for this look. I usually just leave my eyebrows as is. I don't worry about them. They, they are as they are. And I have no qualms with it. I know for some people who like to keep them shaped, I think that's fine. So I'm going to blend that in and kind of out a little bit and take that up a little bit. Just underneath like it touches my eyebrow bone right into that area. Add a little bit more purple. And now we're gonna go over to the other side. And kind of blend that out. You could blend out. This brush, the brush is so big that you can kind of blend that outward. I go out a little bit more with my brushes. Try to create a little v-shape little wing effect with my shadows so we start off the corner go in up you can feel your eyebrow bone and you stop right there where you feel your bone just blend blend upward right in That purple is definitely a bolder shade. It really makes the color pop. And blend that in. And then we're gonna go in with the bottom lower lash line with a lower lash line that's right lower lash line and put we're gonna use this champagne kind of like a peachy peachy pink champagne shimmer color here if you can see that if it focuses I really like this shade it's really like a summer type shade I say spring summer type shade and I'm someone who don't restrict I don't restrict myself to certain colors because I wear I wear what I want regardless of the seasons because color like makeup is supposed to be fun and whatever your mood uh, inspires you to Create your look, whether it's a bold green in the middle of winter um, or a light green. Just go with whatever you're feeling. But I know some people enjoy keeping colors according to seasons. And there's nothing wrong with that. We all have our preferences. I have an eyelash fell on my skin. So we're just going to keep that lightly under my eyes. And I'm using, again, a BH Cosmetic Brush Flat, flat Shadow Brush to help line that area. I was looking for a different brush that will get a, a smaller brush head to get into that area but it's okay kind of smoking out a little bit under my eyes and a little bit in the corner using 
because there's excess, I just use my fingers to kind of clean up that area. So I think that's nice. Again, this is just a simple, a simple makeup look to just kind of dash up the eyes a little bit. I'm going to go in a little bit more on the lower lash line of this eye because to kind of make it more even. I kind of rub some of that out. And the next thing I'm going to do is apply some mascara. So that takes care of the eye look. I could go in and add more colors, but I think I just like a simple three color look on my eye for this look. And I bought the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Lash Tint Mascara in Naked Noir. A noir and I paid $1.99 at Marshall's and a retail price at $3 so again you can really find some great deals at Marshall's and elf is inexpensive so even if you go and pay regular retail price at Target or any places that carry elf you're not going to be spending a ton of money but you know I like to bargain shop and they're just me. Because I feel like you get more for your money when you bargain shop. And this wand is like very small. Like, see how small and pointy? It's very skinny. And I like it because it get really close into that lash line. And it lengthens it. And I also feel like it will give it volume. And because it doesn't get dry right away, you have some time to go back in to create an additional coat on those lashes. And again, it gives that nice subtle tint, not too bold, but still noticeable. So that's, that's that. I think it's really, really, really pretty. I really like this brush and this mascara. I think Elf should keep this as one of their mascara alternatives. And I also like the chrome, the chrome look for this mascara. It's, the packaging is really nice. It's lightweight, so it's not heavy chrome. It's very lightweight. So if you throw it in your purse, you won't have to worry about, you know, something feeling heavy in your purse. But you want to be careful because as it, it accumulates a lot of um, pigment at the tip of the wand. And if you're doing the edges of your lashes, it can smudge a little bit of color onto your skin. But that's okay. But again, this is the e.l.f. Lash Tint Mascara, Beautifully Bare, and Naked Noir. So it's basically a black mascara. So I really like that mascara. I'm liking everything that I have applied to my face today. And everything is just a hit. This is first impression video. Well, initially I did a video yesterday using this. So today is going to be a first impression since this will be the first video going up for these products. So the next thing I want to do is add some, ma not mascara, I'm sorry, I already done that. I want to go in on my cheeks and use the e.l.f. Cream Blush Palette. The packaging looks like this, very sturdy, it's thick. So you throw this in your purse, you won't worry about anything slipping out, melting out. And it has that same kind of compact like MAC Cosmetics had. It has a sturdy case, comes with a mirror. 
and four shades from a like a petal pink a um, a nude tan peach a more um, darker mauvey pink and just a baby doll pink in this color so it's all in the pink peach range so I'm just gonna apply some color to my cheeks and again these colors are very um, I think subdued but it can build up and also depending on your skin tone it may show more intensely than on certain other skin tones like for me it's gonna look I think a little bit more subdued a little more softer <laughs> And so, just want to add some on the apple of my cheeks, move up with it. And you can kind of see there's a flush, a flush of color on my, on my skin. And for this look, you just want to, I think with any blush, you just want to kind of be more softer with it unless you know you're doing editorial and sometimes with editorial looks it is more bolder but you just want to keep it soft and I feel blush even in bolder color and blush you still want to keep it on a soft soft color and it doesn't distract from your eye your eye look or your look color that you may choose or your highlight you don't want it to outshine everything else it's just a subtle hint of color to those cheeks so I have applied that to my cheeks and the next thing I want to use the prism eyeshadow palette and sunset that I just used for my eyes and I'm going to choose a color because there's a couple of colors in here that look like you can use this multi-purposely like for a highlight. So I'm going to use this, cham not sh champagne, but more of this bronzy, bronzy gold color next to the bold color here. And we're just, I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks because this looks like a highlight. It's like a highlight and an eyeshadow palette in one. So I'm just going to go in, apply it to my cheeks. Kind of give it that glow. I like that this eyeshadow is for your eyes, but it also can be used for your cheeks. And don't be afraid to use eyeshadows on your cheeks that does give that hint of glow because that is a multi-purpose product in my opinion. Yes, look at that highlight. It's popping. This is a good shadow. And most shimmers for highlights give that glow. There's no glitter. So give that really nice, beautiful glow to these cheekbones so it can glow to the sky. And what I'm using is a tapered round uh, powder brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And I do have, I own um, quite a few eyeshadow and different brushes from e.l.f. that I do have. And I like to use this brush for applying highlight because it does sweep that color nicely into my cheekbones. So... 
I really, really like that color for my highlight. So, that takes care of the highlight, the brush, and a let the blush, sorry. And the last thing to apply would be a lip product. And since I don't have an e.l.f. lip product to share with this look, which I do need to pick up some because I do have other e.l.f. cosmetics that I will be videoing and sharing with you all. We're going to go in and use ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Monday. ColourPop came out with different Ultra, Ultra, Ultra Matte. I said ultra. Ultra matte lips for each day of the week. And this Monday is a nice pink nude color. It's just really a nice nudie pink. That I think will most likely probably look good on most skin tones. And I'm just going to apply this color. I really love color color pop ultra matte lip colors and I don't feel like it's drying but it doesn't be where it's on no it's not tolerable for me intolerable to say I can tolerate the dryness of a matte color. I like matte colors. I also like creams, lippies, but my favorite from ColourPop is the matte X lippy sticks. Those lippy sticks feel like you have nothing on your lips. And it dries down where it applies on just like a mat and it stays on for quite some time. But usually I go in, I blot in some color just in case there are any sheerness. This color goes right onto my lips, and this is just one coat, and this is completely on my lips so again that is ColourPop Monday so a nice rosy type nude I guess I would say like a rosy pink type nude with a light probably like a pinkish pinkish brown undertone so that completes my e.l.f. cosmetic looks. I will list everything that I use in the description box. And thank you for taking the time for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave that for me. And again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Take care.